All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to One Game One Life. My name is Typo, and this is Starfield Part Forty Two. Let's get to it. Uh, we have a couple missions to sum up real quick before we head out. Uh, maybe even find out what an Ashta is today. I guess we'll see. What's going on here? Why does he have something to say to me? I'm the best realtor in town, if I don't say so myself. Oh, the Midtown home. I don't. Wait, before you go. Okay. My instinct says you're a person who knows how to work with their hands, or in this case, heavy equipment. Are you familiar with mining lasers? Extremely. Used to be a miner for Argos Extractors, actually. Excellent. There are so many in the stretch, living in terrible conditions. The Low House and I are working together to make cheap, affordable housing. But the land we want to build on has hard stone that needs to be cleared. If it's paying work, I'll do it. There is some pay, but everyone involved in this project is doing so at a discount. Once you clear the land, we'll be one step closer to changing some lives for the better. <clears throat> okay. Guess we can knock that out too, why not? Get the, mine, get the cutter out here. Now careful. Gravity's tough. Okay. <laughs> Reminds me of the time I was half out of my floor in Hope Town. The iron that is in the way? What? Really? This is your problem? Yeah, I've got it. No problem. <laughs> She's over it. Alright, that's easy enough. That one was quick. And oh, by the way, I think with the beer run thing, I think I am just going to tell Henry. I'm, I'm just going to tell him, yo, Sarah's a bitch. Letting you know right now. My guy, go make your beer. Enjoy. Let the man live the life he wants. I'm sure he'll pay us too. And if he doesn't, I'll be bummed, but not the end of the world. We're doing good on credits, but he seems to be making good money. I'm sure he'll pay us too. That's good. I'm glad you're having fun. Uh, shoot. I slightly lost track of where those places are. If you're looking for a sidearm, I recommend Laredo's Firearm Factory. Yeah, I'm going to look at Laredo's Firearm Factory next midnight, but I got to make it to next midnight first. Wait, what the? What the what? Is it down below me? It is down below me. Oh. I was about to say, what is happening? Oh, boy. Oh, don't set people on fire, please. Uh, no. I never get to go to space. I never get to go to space. I never get to go to space. Then go to space. Just do it. Stop hanging around and just do it. Henry, Sarah's a bitch. There's something you need, Wes. The key to brewing great beer is fermentation. How'd you get into brewing? It's something I've always wanted to do. But it wasn't until after the company was solvent enough that I could focus on other things. In a lot of ways, brewing wheat beer is a natural extension of the work we've already done in developing IntelliWheat. Thanks to IntelliWheat, we already feed the city. Now, we're going to quench its thirst, too. That's a good line. You should be in marketing. Already am, in a way. I designed all the advertising and logos for Filburn Agricultural Systems. I had an Uncle Pete who used to do it for a living. He taught me a thing or two. That is a good line. What kind of business do you run? I'm the co-founder along with my brother Weston of Filburn <coughs> Agricultural Systems. We're the city's main source of grain-based foods, which, speaking frankly, is most of it. As I've said, we've done pretty well. Maybe not well enough for my brother's wife, Sarah. She thinks we ought to grow, to take the operation to the whole of the settled systems. I ask you, what's the point of success if you can't enjoy the fruits of your labor? True, I agree with that. <clears throat> Doing what you love is matters more than making a lot of money. I'm glad we see eye to eye. I agree. It was a genuine pleasure to talk with you. Hey, I teach for the same reason. I enjoy it a lot more than if I would be a doctor, even though I make a lot less money. Sarah wants to sabotage your beer. She what? That is 
is just it. I've had it with her. To think I was even considering caving to her. Intelloweed is for the common good, Malarkey. Not a chance anymore. <clears throat> I was hoping you'd reward me for the information. Uh, I just thought you should know. Uh, of course. You didn't have to tip me off, so thank you. I'm going to make sure that no one can tamper with my brewing going forward. Take this and thanks again. You're welcome. 2,500 and 344 credits. Interesting. 2,844 credits? We'll take it, Sam. We might have gotten more from the other chick, but... Wrap that up nicely. Okay, let's go talk to the lady. Right, we need to talk to the realtor again, yeah. Let him know that the iron's, iron's been mined out. I can't use the jetpack because I might set people on fire. What a real, pro what a real problem. All right, I did the thing. If you are ever looking to buy property, remember me, Mr. T. I cleared out all the hard rock from your build site. Marvelous. One step closer. I can't wait to tell Miss Wolf. I know it's not much, but this is well earned. No, what? You just paid me like double what the other guy did. We love that. Thank you for the 5300 for mining six iron too. Wow, maybe mining is a pretty good gig after all in terms of getting paid. <laughs> Damn, that went really well. All right, where is what's her face? Um. Talk to Keone. Oh, shoot. Just for now, show me only the active target. Oh, she was this way. Damn it. <laughs> We're always going the wrong way. All right, and then I'd say we wrapped this up pretty good, but we never did go into Sinclair's books, did we? No, we didn't. Could I get the digital copy of the things I buy here? No. What? Why not? I sell books. Physical books. Space is a premium on my ship. If I could download it to my slate, I could have a whole library. There are places you can go for that, ma'am. Just not my shop. Good day. Wait, can't we... We're done here. Why are people so damn touchy about digital books? <laughs> Feel free to read. It's this not the same. For all that love letters. If you want to purchase anything, just let me know. Or if you have any rare finds. You really love books, don't you? Movies, slates, theater, all have their appeal. But books, you can get a window to mankind in its earliest days. Whether adventure with Homer. <clears throat> Or the actual thoughts of Julius Caesar penned in his own hands. True. And they offer visions of the future and wonderfully impossible things and might have been. So, yeah, I do like books. You in the store by yourself? Yes. I had a husband, but he's no longer with us. We loved to travel, and always we'd be looking for rare books. Most of what you see here are mementos. It's sometimes hard to sell. But books are not meant to be hoarded. They're meant to be shared and spark something in us. Okay, and any books you're looking for? I am a bit of an aficionado of old Earth novels. Well, truth be told, it's more of an obsession. <laughs> Reading their stories is a revelation, not only for you know the pure imagination, but the window you get into long gone historical eras. Right. I'll pay handsomely for any books you find like that. Except Charles Dickens. Definitely not Charles Dickens. Hey, what's wrong with Charles Dickens? Oh, oh, nothing wrong at all. When colonists were forced to leave Earth for good, cargo space was precious. And for some reason, everyone thought to bring their Charles Dickens collection. No, no, I mean, I mean, he was an amazing writer. His stories are But timeless. you just have so many of them? What I give for a copy of Sense <clears throat> and Sensibility. Or the Three Musketeers. Oh. So the books that are worth a lot. Musketeers, mind you. Not the dozens of interpretations of it. I feel the same way about a good book. Who doesn't? 
Do I have any books for your old Earth collection? I'll sell them to you. Let me see. I'm afraid there's nothing you have that interests Yeah, I'll, I'll I'll start picking up those valuable books and keeping them this time. What's for sale? Certainly. Do you have Dracula? She doesn't have Dracula. Okay, okay. Alright. Keep an eye out for you. Sure, why not? Like an actual library? Oh, I bet this, I bet this building smells so good. Bro, what is wrong with you? Oh, that citizen's a mess. You see that guy, sir? That guy's a mess. A menace to society looking like that. I got real judgy real quick. <laughs> Keone! Hey, I did your thing. The sensors are pretty durable. I mean, don't go using them as target practice and they're good to go. You got some good news, I hope? Your sensors have been placed. Well, that's that then. So, this next part, it's a bit delicate. Okay. See that guard tower across the way there? I need to get in there and make a few small modifications to the terminal inside. What? I don't have the processing power to collate all the data that'll be coming in from the sensors. The existing network does. <laughs> uh, okay. Oh, goodness. I really am bad at communicating sometimes. I have that part well in hand. The... Uh, guard standing outside there. He's not gonna let me in. I need you to distract him. <laughs> okay. The old man always said I'd be on the wrong side of Aquila security. I guess we're gonna prove him right. <laughs> I should only need a few moments. So, I, I don't know, convince him to take a break or something. Or, if you're feeling particularly rebellious, maybe give him some official business to attend to. I believe it's what Davis would refer to as a ruckus. A ruckus. As soon as I like her I'm accent. Occupied, I'll scoot in and out before anyone notices. Okay? Let's do this. Alright, Keone. Steal something in front of the guard, get the guard to leave the tower. I'll only steal something if I need to. How about we try the persuasion route first? Hey, hey. Private sector. That's where the, That's where the real money's at. Hey, Sam. You're in the vanguard, right? Thanks for your service. Yeah, I do what I can, man. You're being sarcastic, I know, but, you know, I do what I can. Uh, what's it called? What's it called? I always forget what this thing is called. Boudica. Not Boudica. Uh, oh my god, what is this stuff called? Hippolyta. There it is. Time to hey, be persuasive. Thanks for your service. What brings you to the wall? Boredom. Because if that's what you're looking for, you've hit the jackpot. <laughs> Wanna have a romantic date here. I was hoping for privacy and discretion to pay a thousand credits. Can't get into it, but I need a few minutes here alone. It's for a good cause. And I'm just supposed to take this on what? Faith? Yes. Yes, that's exactly it. What's the problem here? Come on. Uh, maybe I'm just being paranoid. There we are. I know you'd like to help me if you could. Yeah, I hope so. I guess I believe you. Just don't do anything I'll regret, okay? Okay. Alright, he's gone. That's all settled then. Thanks for the assist. Hope you're none too worse for wear. Wow, she already did it. What a beast. <laughs> If you need any more laws broken, I'm game. This is bending the rules, not breaking laws. And it'll all work out in the end. You'll see. It's breaking laws. Once enough data has been collected, I'll have the proof I need to convince them, especially Davis, that my technology is useful. If you're curious, come back tomorrow. I might even have preliminary findings. Okay. 8,700 credits too, okay. I'm messing around. Look at how much experience it takes to level up now. That's kind of crazy, right? 101 planets scanned and 98 planets fully surveyed. That obviously includes moons. But damn, 98 fully surveyed uh, planets and moons. Over a million credits found. Let's go. 401 locations explored. 59 days past. It's been almost two months. 
And in that time, we've managed to kill 556 people and 339 creatures. You know, just a little something something. That is over <laughs> that is over 900 kills. Nine over 900 living things. Oh no, 895 living things have died by our hands in these 2 months. What do you think about that, Sam? You impressed? It, it, whether for good or ill, it is impressive. You gotta agree with that part. Thank you. Yeah, I wear the spacesuit everywhere because I don't want to forget that I'm wearing it. Looks like we got you do. You do have another off-worlder. Okay, very cool, very cool. So, now that we have that taken care of... How you liking that laser gun? Oh, we're loving it. We're loving it. Let's go ahead and... Both of those we have to wait for tomorrow. Okay. Travel to the empty nest. Okay. While we're waiting for tomorrow to come about, because it's 10 in the morning local time, that's not happening anytime soon. The empty nest is kind of close, isn't it? Okay, hold up now. Let's get some sleep, though. And we can survey the planet a bit while we're at it. Let's go back to the ship and spend a bit. We're gonna go hit space, sleep, come back down. And we're gonna hit the empty nest. There you go, Sam. I'm glad you're happy. There you are, Sam. I'm glad you're happy. I did not look the right way earlier. Let's get into space so we can sleep. Because otherwise it's going to mess up my hours and our data. We're definitely behind on sleep if I count it up. Our stat page should say 336 after 60 days are done and gone. And I don't think it's going to say that. Oh no, sorry. I didn't mean to hail you. I meant to get out of my seat. Stop it. Stop. I'm trying. Everybody go away. I'm trying to get out of my seat. No, you can't. So, Miss Stay Up Late Reading Under the Covers, did you learn anything new from your book last night? <laughs> Don't pretend to be mad at me. I know you aren't really. I learned oh, that on Earth, people used here. to use the stars. Oh, oh well, let's trade, I guess. So cool. <laughs> but I guess it only worked because they just lived on one planet. They're like having a whole combo. I love it. What the? Yeah, why are these? Get this out of me. Get this away. Penicillin X. Okay. 28 ship parts. I gotta sell some of these. Here, take 10 of my ship parts, please. Damn. That's, that's so many ship parts. What the hell? And that sounds boring. Can I please, for the love of God... ...these days to tell you the tale of a certain Solomon Co. And where his stargazing landed him. Thank you. Jesus. I could not. I could not get out of my seat because it's the same button as the hail button. That's so tough. Made a little more money because you know we're so bored and need it so badly. Hey, Lynn. Hey, Heller. It's going. It's going, man. It's going. All right. And with that rest, let's go ahead and hit the surface again, and we're going to the empty nest. And we got tons of time to do it because those quests we turned in earlier did not take any time at all. Galaxy ain't gonna conquer itself? <sighs> Sam, I know you didn't mean that the way you meant, the way I would have meant it, but I like what you're saying here. <laughs> oh my god, Dr. Pepper is so good. Oh my god. 
Okay, travel to the empty nest. Is it gonna park us at the city? Cause is it is it too close or whatever? Nope, it's parking us out in the wild here. Okay. Aquila City's over there, got it. Kind of close, kind of far. <clears throat> I'm sure there's plenty to find out here. Let's get to it. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too, Lynn. Let's get a real weapon out. Um, the micro gun. <laughs> Uh, this gun is way OP. The Beowulf. The skip shot modified Bridger has no rounds, really. We can put that on six. It's better than nothing. Alright, we'll use the Orion for most things, and if we see an Ashta, we gotta use, like, a real gun. Because apparently those things are deadly. Ten fauna, five flora, and six resources. Woo! I ain't messing around. Ten fauna, huh? That's a lot of fauna. I really should have parked at the city, huh? That probably would have been smarter. Oh well. It is what it is now. Is what it is now. <clears throat> yeah, my theory here is that the bandits or the gang or whatever have realized that thing that animals and stuff stay away from the artifact, and that's why they're keeping it, not realizing that it's so much more than that. Oh, there's nothing out here where we are. Not a damn thing. What's going on with that? And the gravity here is so heavy, our boost pack can't do anything. Hey, an actual something to survey. Can't believe it. Cannery read. Okay. Oh my god, already, already an Ashta, huh? Yep, that's what I was thinking. Ah, that's beatable. Just don't tell Cora about this one. Hyper catalyst and antimicrobials. Okay, yeah, those Ashtas are decent. <clears throat> that was level 40, it definitely helps. They're always more deadly when they're level 40. Pretty early game mission, I was I would think to be running into level forty creatures in the wilderness, but okay. Oh, come on, please. Jesus, the heavy is the gravity is insane. Sorry, that was my phone going off. It's a mere fifty percent extra. Fifty percent extra gravity, and it's that heavy. Nuts. Just nuts. Okay, what is this? Savannah Sweetbush. Fun. Another one over here. And then here is the empty nest. Where the gang gathers, I suppose. There's a mine there. I've got more shaving. Are uh, they going to attack us on sight here? They're attacking us on sight, right? Looking like it. Last four shots here. I'm about to heal, I'm about to heal. I see it, I see it. Dang, those suck. Alright, Orion. 
Rest in peace, these guys. Rest in peace. Keep him up, Shaw. Uh, keep him up, Shaw. Uh, Jesus Christ. Sam. Oh, level 36 turret has been tagging us. What the? Get that out of here. Why is everything so high level over here? What's going on? Imagine if we'd have come here earlier. We'd have been underprepared. There he goes. Good, ex good experience killing these guys. Damn. Let's get up close and personal and use the micro gun. This thing is super fun to use. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! I love it! This is like my favorite gun. Look how satisfying that is! Oh my goodness! Have mercy, but don't really! <laughs> I love it so much! The micro gun is awesome! Just absolutely disrespect these guys. Hell yes. I don't care how much it uses ammo. I love that. To the victors go the spoils. Rip Shaw Gang. I need that toast. Not the metal plate. Damn it. What the? Hello? Grazing Ensifer? Can I help you guys? The hell are these things? They're wary. Okay. So they won't attack me if they don't need to. But maybe they have really good loot. Let's try, let's test it out. Nest, or whatever you call it, smuggler's lair. Smuggler lair. I love it. All right. I won't kill the rest of you guys if you don't have good loot. No, you don't. All right. No, I'll keep killing you anyway for the experience. Probably, for being honest, my guy's not a good guy. 11 millimeter cases, yeah! 11 millimeters, that ammo for our really good gun that we never have enough ammo for. This guy right here. God, it looks so good too. But the micro gun, dude? <laughs> I love this thing. It's so cool. So cool. You got an Ashta right there. I'll let it go. Ashes are a lot of work. Ooh, refined tombstone. More 11 millimeters. David Copperfield, that's not it. Shaw Gang, welcome. Welcome to our little camp. Doesn't look like much, but I know you'll find a place for yourself here. It certainly beats living under the thumb of the Free Star Guards. Plus, the ashes don't come around here, so outside of a killer, this might be the safest place on the planet. Join me for a drink when I get back. Panopticon. Interesting. Why don't the Yashta come here? Do we know? I thought that said stellar casual wear, because that would be funny. We need cheese. Mercenary space helmet, look at that! It's pretty decent, actually. Refined Razorback. 106 physical damage. It's worth five digits in value. Not the greatest accuracy, not the greatest fire rate, not the greatest amount of rounds. So, not really worth using, but that's really cool. Sleepy pack. I'm trying to get put to sleep with some tranquility. Which is a great name, just saying. Good marketing. And what does this building have for us? Yeah, so far this place has definitely been worth exploring around. Which makes sense because it's a uh, main quest area, right? Usually those would have a little more effort put in them. Yeah, this all looks good so far. We like that. My life chunk by chunk, no. Okay, cred stick. 
Uh, homesteaders' complaints. Been hearing rumblings about ranchers and homesteaders around these parts complaining about getting harassed about their land. Now, I'm not saying we couldn't be doing this ourselves. It'd be slim pickings if you ask me. What I'm saying is, if we're not doing it, we better be making sure it isn't coming back on us. Okay, weapon workbench. Um, the tombstone's cool, but it's got nothing on the assault rifle that we're using. Uh, other than the... What is it? The, um... Is it the internal? Yes. Other than not having the internal mod skill to be able to do high power, I think this. I think we're happy with all this. This gun is ready to go, basically. AR-99 is set. Um... The micro gun? What can you even do with this thing? Long barrel... Increases accuracy, recoil control, and range at the cost of aim down sight speed. That's fine. Why is the stabilizing barrel so much better? Increase accuracy and recoil control at the cost of aim down sight speed while standing still. No, I'll take the long barrel, thanks. And we have plenty of ingredients, so let's go ahead and do that. And that's our 15th weapon mod, so now, if we wanted to, we could level our weapon engineering. That's sick. Laser sight. We don't have a bunch of neon, so I'm a little eh on that. We don't need a suppressor on this thing. No thanks. No way I'm going in quiet <laughs> with the micro gun, you know? We'll take the compensator, thanks. Uh, tactical grip is just better. Sealant and titanium, alright. Armor piercing rounds would be good. But we don't have the stall we don't have the stuff for that. Small magazine. Or tactical magazine. Vastly increases aim down sight speed to reload speed. I would prefer high powered, but yeah, we only have four lead. I kinda need to start getting lead again, unfortunately. Bullet hose, high powered, or of high velocity. Bullet hose. What? Bullet hose sounds kind of wild. Increase accuracy and range. Bullet hose is the fire rate. Got it. It already has a crazy fire rate. I really want more damage. But we don't have the internal mods for that. We don't have the internal mods for any of these, actually. Never mind. Okay. The modified bridger is already set. Yeah. Okay. Alright, we did enough weapon engineering to do an upgrade in our skill in the future. That's the point. Whenever we level up next, we can take weapon engineering to the next level, which will be great. We're pretty far away from that. The levels are starting to come pretty slow, too. Like, I did, like, a solar system and a half of surveying. Literally a solar system and a half of surveying of plenty of planets and moons. And we did, like, what, three level ups? They, know how to party. they are definitely taking their time on the level ups now, which, that's fair. If they came too fast, it would be too easy, you know? Uh, here's the robot. I knew there was a robot around here. Get wrecked. Grab everything useful. This guy has two guns. Why did that guy have two guns? I mean, I ain't complaining. I'm just confused. Alright, we're going indoors, maybe? The empty nest? Oh my god. Get the micro gun back out. We're going in. I love it. Bye, Shaw Gang. Bye, Shaw Gang. I almost exploded those barrels. That could have been bad. Thanks for the Shaw Gang cave key. Cave key. Kept my job easy. Much appreciated. Another weapon workbench. Damn, I was hoping it was a different workbench. Okay. Anyway, moving on. Maybe down the line we'll get something different. Ashta Tamer. 181 physical damage. We have 30 rounds of the 40mm XPL. Does 4 mags at a time. Has incendiary damage on it. I'll try it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hello now. Bye. I used the key. You really shouldn't have given the guy outside the key. Just saying. Poor decision making. Today's not gonna be your day, pal. Over and covered already. Nice. Cutter crate? I don't need cutters. This ain't over. I know my long shot. 
Uh, Sam! You need to take things off of me. Yeah, the micro gun's loud, I bet. Cobalt, we've already just. Okay. Not ideal, but okay. Sam! Like this. If you're looking for Perfect nest for Ashta, he said. Spare. Okay, my bad. I didn't realize that. He's using a 50 cal weapon. That's kind of fire. Take these for me. And then... Ashta Tamer kind of looks like a Bridger, to be honest. Oh, yeah. It is. It's a Bridger that does incendiary damage. Huh. Calibrated Bridgers do 181, and we've been doing 127 with this? Oh, what are we doing? Now I just feel silly. Just silly. These refined guns do so much. Hello? Wait a minute. <laughs> the guns are kind of picking up like crazy right now. Why did we have a... Uh... Here, let me use the Asha Tamer instead of these. Instead of the skip shot. Yep. Why did we have an extra cutter? I need to make sure here. You want me to carry something for you? Yeah, just give me the cutter back. We're dropping that. Thank you. Take it easy. Yep. Shaw gang's full of thugs. Hurt a lot of people. Don't think twice about shooting back. Nope, Goodbye. I'm not worried about it. <laughs> you have no idea how not worried about it I am. You really don't. Okay. Hey, you dropped it. Wait, you meant to do that? Yep. I like that he commented on it, though. Found me a Bye. Okay. Let's go to reload, I guess. It's still all cobalt. Okay. What are they doing in this cave so deep? <clears throat> Why even go this far back? Come on. Is Shaw gonna be here himself? The celebrity? It's got some of that artifact craziness going on. Really? Sure, I guess. Artifact Chi? Artifact Kai? I don't know how to say that one. <clears throat> I've been trying to see if there's differences, but I think it's the same thing every time. Okay. You're fine. Let's get going. <clears throat> okay. I'll, uh... Yeah, let's get going. Is that really it? They're just gonna let me get out like this? <clears throat> Am I gonna leave the hideout and Shaw himself is gonna be right outside? Seemed a little too easy. All this lead up with no dramatic fight? I don't know about that, Chief. I don't believe it. But I guess, let's find out. I knew it! I called the hell out of that, Sam! Hold up, this looks like a real fight. Let me, I never do this, so let's use some. Um, Heart plus would be good. But don't we have an actual, like, combat, like, thing that we made? I don't remember what it's called at all. I mean, Squall is obviously really good, but... What's the, um... What's the combat drug we made? Here it is. Panopticon. 40% range damage for three, for three minutes. 35% weapon accuracy for 30 minutes. And movement noises, whatever. But, you know. Yeah, that looks good to me.
go ahead and pop that because I bet a fight's happening here. I think that's far enough. That's Shaw. I put a hole in the head of Akila's own prodigal son. At least not before we've had a word. <clears throat> you must be Shaw. What I am is disappointed. Samco in the flesh, and he's peddling around the frontier with the has-beens of Constellation. Now you got past my crew, who I pay quite handsomely, I might add. Grabbed something from that weird cave. Probably whatever's been keeping the Ashta away. So, I'm down one hideout. Now, let's talk about what all that's worth to me. Your lives, your credits. One or the other, really. We're not cutting deals with a criminal. Kill them! Bye, Shaw. Light her up! Yeah! Y'all are doomed! Heal up, heal up, heal up! Call, kill the Ashta? There's Ashta here? That's funny. The Ashta aren't staying away anymore. Oh my god, do you see the micro gun just absolutely work through that Ashta? Wait a minute. This gun is so good. I mean, it, it goes through ammo absolutely absurdly fast, but it is so good. Who's over here? Who's hiding? Did they make a run for it? Did you make a run for it, you coward? You did. No, no. You're an idiot picking a fight with us. Hey, Ashta. Goodbye. Shaw. Bunch of stuff, obviously. Modified refined Razorback and a modified calibrated AA-99. Now nah, we have an AA-99 that's advanced for some reason. We don't need that. Shaw actually thought she had something there. Did you look at that? Nah, y'all are doomed from the start. Oh, uh, we're 50% on Ash to scans, I guess. What time is it? Ooh, it's coming up on midnight at the city. I'm just saying. All right, y'all. I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to the ship, um, bring it over to the city, and then we're gonna go post up at the shop till midnight, I suppose. So I guess I'll see all of you there soon. Oh my god, look at the amount of mines you guys had set up. Really? All right, I'll see y'all soon. Welcome back, by the way. We're just selling uh, some stuff at the Trade Authority here. Coachman. Uh, we don't need the log ever, the modified calibrated. Nah, that's not good enough. The Coachman, the modified refined Razorback is good, but not that good. And there you have it. Nice and easy. Sell one of those. That'll work. Back up to 530,000 credits. We're making it happen. Word to the wife. Especially Aggies. What do you guys got against Aggies and stuff? No, you didn't see me on SSNN. Unless, you, unless you've seen my story, baby. I just show you instead of tell you. Yeah, wow, they all have stuff again. It's interesting that they already have stuff again. But I don't hate it. Don't. don't. Hey, don't get it wrong. Love it. Take this iron off me. Uh, and then sell from the shield breaker the rest, I guess. Uh, go ahead, 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 go ahead. Old earth hunting rifle? No. 236. That'll work. Thank you, sir. We're working on it, slowly but surely. <clears throat> okay, so, we have nothing else we need to do. Um, and there's still four hours until the robbery, so... I guess... I know I was originally gonna wait for comments from you guys, but... 
We can burn time by building at our manor. You know? Since we're really trying to burn some time. If you do not want to watch us build in our manor here, you can absolutely skip ahead like... Yeah, you can absolutely skip ahead. I don't know how long it's going to be. Probably 10-15 minutes before it reaches the time we need it to be. Because it's been 6 minutes since we checked last time. Let's get straight to the decorating here. So furniture, chair, decorations, displays. Okay, yeah, there's a lot we can do. We can do a self-service bounty clearance in here? What? This is some crazy stuff going on. Okay, industrial workbench. Gotta be going. Um, here. First, first, let's get the furniture sorted, right? We need a bed. Um, Q and T are the variants, apparently. Okay, all right. There's a lot we can do here. These are a lot of crap beds, though. No! 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 That is not what I wanted. I need to be careful with my buttons, clearly. Go to modify mode, delete this. Build mode, okay. Uh, T. Okay. Let's line this up just right. I'd probably want it like this, to be honest. And it's for one person, so... We can just go up against the wall. Yeah. Nice. Oh! I messed it up. I should have hit E. My bad, my bad. Three fiber and four structural. Oh, yeah, we've got tons of fiber and structural. Looks good, looks good. Okay. Um... So that's the table. Probably gonna want a coffee table of sorts. Something by the bedside here. That looks pretty good. Damn, some of those are massive. Hello? Okay, yeah, we're gonna go with this one. Uh, here we are. Yeah, we'll, uh, yeah, we'll go with that. Okay. A little something right... Oh my god, I keep hitting the mouse click instead of E. Gonna have to get better at that. That's really hard to get just right, too. Okay. That was structural and aluminum. Oh, I need to be more careful about that. <clears throat> Navigation consoles. I'll skip on that. Wooden desk. Yes, gotta have it. What kind of desks are we working with? Do we have an L desk? I love the L desks. No L desk. That's tough. That is tough. Okay. No L desks. Fair enough. Let's go with the old faithful then. Go with one of these. This is the way out of our house, right? Um. You know what? I think the study would be best out here. Yeah? Yeah, this is like our little corner here for the study. Um, maybe more of like that? It's so hard to get it correct, you know what I mean, with the directions? Because it, it, it modifies so quickly. I feel like this would be easier with a controller. One of the few things a controller would be better for, other than sports games. I just spent adhesive on that desk. I really need to look at what I'm using before I use them. Damn, I feel stupid. What a wooden look. None of that's wooden enough. We're trying to go for rustic. Can't you tell? Not that rustic. That's too rustic. Damn. Couch. <laughs> no. Nope. Maybe. Yes. Now we're talking. That's a real couch. Um, set up a TV there maybe, you know? I can see that working. Yeah, I could, I could. Leaves your back to the front door, which is a little concerning, but it is what it is. Oh my god, I keep hitting... Okay, click instead of E. Okay. Fiber and structural is fine. I could spend that all day. All day. Deck 
decorations. A wall monitor. Yes, please. There we go. That's the TV. Right up there. Perfect. Aluminum and copper we have plenty of. A dartboard. Yeah. Definitely throw it on there. Uh, ornamental and structural? Yep, we can do that. Gotta have a rug. Especially for the desk area. That looks like it really meshes well. So does that. Ooh, do I go with three or four? Let's go with this. And then I and then I botched it. Then I botched it. Okay. Why did I do that? I had it and then I ruined it. Okay, there we go. Got it again. Okay. Can we move this on top of it? Nah, never mind. It looks weird when you do that. Just kidding. Okay, back to building. Oh my god, could have had a whole fancy ass dark board. Damn, it doesn't really fit with the what we've got going on here, but space frog posters. We don't need those. Laser Love, starring Pat Brandy and Celia Z. Who said romance was dead? Muzzling me. <laughs> the silence of sand. Blue harvest. Some of these look cool. Use a broom if necessary. Clean up. If you know beer, you know. Ear to brow. Young, attractive, fresh, enhance. Nothing's beyond our reach when we work together. A little motivational poster. If you're not part of the solution, you're part of the precipitate. Caffeine. Caffeine. Gotta go in the kitchen with the caffeine. Caffeine. Yeah. Let's go. Chemists have all the solutions. Inside the Viper's Nest, the Incredible Stu Cru True Story, the Serpent's Crusade. That looks sick, actually. Let me put that on here. Looks good. And the posters cost things I'm willing to lose, too. Oh, this looks like perfect stuff for a nerd corner. Absolutely. Outpost 11. There's not any Lux in the Lux sites. Blade Gliding. Be all you can be in 0G. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. Um, actual pictures now? Oh, wow. Oh, wow! That's Skyrim! Hey! Put a Skyrim picture up, why not? I'm sure it's a, I'm sure it's a planet somewhere out here, right? <laughs> That's funny. Alright. Um... This looks cool. This looks calming. Sam's taking a nap. Understandable. Oh. That's not what I wanted to do, actually. I wanted to put this here. That's alright. I'll just move this one. There we go. Alright, what time is it? In game. Or, yeah. Okay, we got a couple more hours. We might end up spending the rest of our time decorating this place, to be honest, looking like this. Um, this picture did look good. Put this next to the fridge, that makes sense. There you go. Uh, we already have that picture. This is the picture we don't have. There we go. Looks good. We're using a lot of structure and pigment, but that's totally fine. We've been storing those up for a while. Storage crate we don't need. No. Aluminum and structural. Could have one of sorts there, but we really don't need it. No. Desk monitor. Gotta have a desk monitor. Come on. What's a computer without a desk monitor? Light us up? There we go. It's gonna bug me that I can't get these things perfectly straight. Come on. 
<laughs> it's driving me nuts. I bet it's driving you nuts. You're the one having to watch me fail at this. Why can't I do this? Oh my goodness. It's like it has it, it's like it doesn't want to be in the direction I want it to be in. Okay. A coffee maker. Hello? Got to have it? I kind of like how it's angled already. There we go. Portable stove top. We don't need anything like that. Um No, we have all the other basic stuff. Planter? Could have that here in front of the TV. Gonna want a better one than that, though. Whoa. Some of these are massive. Oh, that would look so good in this corner. Yes! Does it have to be that color, though? Looking like it. It's a little off, but we'll take that. Yeah, that looks good. That looks good. And then we can do a long one back here. A little privacy wall of nature. There you go. Okay. I was not checking what that required to make, but it looks like it was fiber and structural, which means we're okay. Hanging rug. Why would you want a hanging rug? Hello? Okay, data slate display, display case, weapon rack, backpack stand. Um, could have a mannequin display here. Sorry, that's my phone again. Weapon rack. Could also have a weapon rack. Weapon case. Could also have a weapon case. There's so much we can do, to be honest. Yeah, I don't know, maybe. This, this stuff is crazy to me, that you can just pop this down in your house. That's weird. Alright, now all the actual stuff for, like, building and stuff. So we can actually craft while we're here. Iron and aluminum, we've got. We can do that. Cooking station, we don't need a cooking station. We have, um, we have a stove right there. Pharmaceutical lab. Maybe I should just do it down this wall, you know? All these different crafting stations. Yeah, that's probably fine, I would think. Okay. I'd take adhesive to do that, though. Am I okay with using all this adhesive, though? Do we even need to do the crafting in here? We have crafting on the, um, ship. Give me that good chair right now. I've seen some comfy chairs in this place. I know you can give me one. What are these options you've given me? You are joking me. No way those are my only choices. Damn you! <laughs> I've seen so much better seats. That's unreal. I refuse. Oh, man. Okay, we need a kitchen table and stuff. Let me just make sure we have time for this. Yeah, okay. Let's do the kitchen table and then let's leave. For those of you that decided to stick with me on this, interesting choice. But thanks for being here anyway. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay, yes. Yeah, tables. Yep, yep, yep. That's a good table. And spacious, which is what we want, really. Because this is a spacious area. I need to use all the space up. Yeah, go to this. Yeah, let me move this a little bit, too. There you go. Plenty of space to put a chair and then actually still have space. Could also put it down here. And this can be a dining area of sorts. Nah, this would make more sense over here, I think. Okay. So let's go ahead and set up the chairs here that we're gonna need. 
Not a lot of good options as we've seen, but we'll make it happen. God, these, these options are so bad. It's unreal. <laughs> it's, it's crazy how bad these options are. Why are these chairs so bad? I don't understand. This will have to work for now. Golly. Just horrendous, really. This doesn't really make sense for a table because it's way too leaned back. So I guess I gotta use this for now until we get better options. However we do that. Yeah, that looks so bad. These use adhesive too. Forget it. I'll just keep the one table there for now. Alright, let's go post up. This look this place really came together a little bit here. We like it. We like it. It's looking good, Sam. Our home really came together here. We personalized it a bit. I especially like the, this little living space here. Alright. Let's catch these guys in action. Yep, it's 11.30. Perfect. It's going to be midnight soon after we get there. I'm assuming the experience is gone. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> yeah, 3 or 18. That means we are... That means we're, like, three days of sleep behind. Oh, no. Two days of sleep. Two days of sleep behind right now. Need to be sleeping more. I'll, I'll get caught up while I'm doing surveys and stuff. Alright, alright. Here we go, here we go. Confront the thief suspect. Oh, my God, is he already here? Hippolyta. Uh, how did you catch me? What? Uh, shit. <laughs> I, uh, yeah? <laughs> Caught you red handed. Don't try anything. I, I won't. Oh, God. This can be happening. Oh, God. No. Security. Oh, you're Don't busted now. Anybody move. Let's see. <laughs> if it ain't the hero of Galbank. Uh-huh. And who do we have here? Looks like you're carrying a lot of weapons for a nighttime stroll. I I hell, I give up. Smart move. I got a tip something was going down tonight. Was little Annie actually right about all this? She was. Andy may be a kid, but she's formidable. I kind of always thought she was a pest. But now, I got her from here. Aquila City owes you again. Well, that was and, easy. Uh, thank Annie for me. Dear God, she's never going to let us hear the end of this. <laughs> Dear God. Well, I'm sure Annie's on bedtime right now, speaking of. She mentioned it last time. But maybe we'll find her up and about. I don't know. Probably inside the rock sleeping. Yeah, there's inside the rock. Right, Step two, sleeping. All right, let's go turn this in, and then uh, everything good. Next time we return to Aquila City, we'll turn in the other mission. I'm not gonna wait here all day for that. I don't think. All right, Annie. It's midnight. You're still awake. Did you catch the thief? Tell me it worked. Annie, what are you doing up? It's way past your bedtime. Right. Mom, I have to know. You got it right, right? Your hunch was right on the money. We caught the thief, Annie. I knew it. Annie L. Wilcox, what did you do? I, I told you about it. You know the Laredo robberies? Well, we caught the thief. Wait, so that's real? Of course, Mom. <laughs> I told you. I, uh, 
She's telling the truth. You're not pulling my leg, right? She and her friend really were instrumental in catching the culprit. I... Uh, oh, boy. I... Annie, we'll talk more about this later. But I'm proud of you. But you've got to be careful. Yes, Mom. I'm gonna be the best ranger surveillance assistant ever. Thank you for helping my girl and anything else involved. Take this. You're welcome. Lord preserve me. <laughs> yeah, you got a lot underneath you right there. <laughs> Criminals beware. Criminals beware. I'm on your side, Annie. For the most part. No promises forever. We got a lot of bars in the city. All class joints. Well, except Aggies. Oh, hey there. Dude, that is tough. They are really hating on Aggies right now. Yikes. Alright, you know what? I guess I'll go around and survey the planet for a bit. I might as well. Um, and then we'll start next episode by talking to Keone about her collected data. So thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, consider giving it a like. And if you really enjoyed it, consider subscribing. But either way, thank you so much for joining myself and Sam on this journey in Starfield. God, this game is a blast. It's so good. I really hope the reception has been good for this game because it deserves it, in my opinion. I'll see all of you next time.